Hey YouTube, Untamed here. Figured I'd shoot a video just highlighting both of the, the sets of tires that I have on both the rigs here. But first we'll do a peanut feature. Sonic, do you wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Hi! <laughs> You're so fast. <laughs> All right. Um, so for those of you who don't know, I have a 2013 Toyota FJ Cruiser here, Trail Teams Edition, and the uh, Toyota Tundra is a 2020 TRD Pro. Um, so I put Daddy. brand new sets of tires on each of them. Sonic. Yeah? Oh, good job. Good job. Good job, Peanut. All right, brand new sets of tires on each of them. Um, the FJ here has the BFG Goodwrench KO2s. They're 285, 75, 16s. So I can give you a side profile of it. Purposely went with the white wall out just because that's what this rig looked like from the factory, if you guys know. Um, these are the, the factory TRD wheels that came on the trail teams. Uh, and they also had uh, KO2 or KO1s on it. Uh, BFG Good Wrench KO1s from the factory. So made it look as OEM as possible. You're so fast. You're so fast, Sonic. Thanks. All right, do a close look real quick. So this does have a uh, two inch lift. Oh, who's in your shirt, Peanut? Who is that? A llama. A llama. So this does have a two inch lift on it um, with the, the Fox suspension, as you see. Um, these, because they're 285s, traditionally speaking, you would need to get this trimmed right here. This is the, the body mount in here. Most people get that trimmed off, but because it has lift, I did not need to do that. All right. One more kind of pan around. Actually, let me show you the actual tread pattern on them. So a pretty aggressive tire overall, and this is won a number of Baja Championship, Baja races, so they that's kind of their claim to fame. Fire. Yeah. Kind of look from the back there. This might be a better better look. So definitely an aggressive design. I like the sidewall. I think it's pretty neat looking. However, I would argue that the the Nitto Ridge Grappler is better looking. It's just more aggressive looking, really. So let's give those a peek. Forgive me the little unfair advantage here to the FJ, just because the Tundra is pretty filthy, as you can see. But that doesn't make the tires perform any differently, right? So, as you can see, it has a much more aggressive sidewall, or the design, rather, on the sidewall. I think it's pretty neat looking. These are 295 18s just for a size for reference. I would argue that, you know, to some degree these are less aggressive on the actual tread pattern itself. What do you guys think? And there's that. Both have amazing reviews on them. Uh, I don't think you're going to read a negative review for either one of them, really. Uh, the Nitto Ridge Grappler here is known as a kind of a hybrid tire. So they're just kind of an in-between um, and they're rated for 60,000 miles. And a lot of people have given reviews of them actually doing the full 60,000. So they definitely have a pretty good reputation so far. As do, as do the KO2s. The KO2s are known for 40 to 50,000. Most people say they're right around 40,000 before they start kind of uh, kind of gimp it out a little bit. But again, you, I don't think you're going to read a negative review on these suckers. But yeah, I mean, that is the primary purpose of this. I mean, between the two of them, if I were to choose, it would likely be the Nitto Ridge Grapplers. Uh, I personally just like them a lot. I mean, both of them, and it's kind of a little bit of unfair advantage too, because 
just the road noise in general. Maybe the it might be the sound sound deadening in the FJs maybe is a little bit a little bit worse than the Tundra. But you know you just you get very minimal road noise with the Nettle Ridge Grapplers. So I think you know if I ever had to choose between them, I would lean in this direction. But that's my total personal opinion, personal preference. You can't go wrong with either one of them, I'd argue. But all right, I will wrap up the video there. Don't make it too long for you guys. But of course, as always, I appreciate you watching and let me know if you want to see anything in particular. Until next time.